Hello, welcome to Ready API, an integrated suite of applications for API testing. In this video, we will talk about authentication and how to set it up in your tests in Ready API. When a client interacts with a protected resource, the client must prove its identity. This process is called authentication. For example, when you get a resource, you need to enter credentials. There is a related term, authorization. It is a process of determining whether the client is permitted to perform an action. As an example, a client can get a resource but cannot remove it. Authorization typically takes place after authentication. Here is a sample request to a protected resource. When you try to send a request to the resource without authentication data, the server returns the 401 unauthorized status code. This response also contains a www-authenticate header that provides information on which authentication type the service supports. In this example, you can see the service requires the basic authentication. The basic authentication demands that the request have a header that is named authorization with Base64 encoded username and password as its value. Ready API supports the most popular authentication and authorization types. This video is focused on the basic authentication. You can learn more about other types in the product documentation. Let's see how we can configure authentication in Ready API. In the request editor, open the auth panel, select basic authentication, and specify username and password. The preemptive auth setting specifies how Ready API will send authentication data. Without preemptive authentication, Ready API will send a request without the authorization header and then, after being denied access, send the second request with the header. With the preemptive authentication, it will send a request with the authorization header right away. You can either make the request authenticate preemptively or use the global preferences indicated in the global HTTP settings. You can see that when we send the request, information on the authentication type and credentials are passed in the authorization header. Most likely, you send more than one request to the service with the same credentials. To reuse the same authentication settings, use custom profiles. You can add a new custom profile here in the auth panel. You can create a profile for any supported authentication and authorization type. We need the basic type. Settings do not differ from those we used before. Now, when we need the same credentials in another request, we can just select the same profile to apply the settings. If you change settings in one request, the changes will apply to all requests that use this profile. To manage and configure authentication profiles in your project, you can use the Auth Manager. Here you can see all the profiles defined in your project and edit their settings. On this tab, you can apply profiles to individual requests or other items such as test cases, test suites, or even the whole project. Child requests of an item will inherit its profile settings. This was basic information on configuring authentication in Ready API. Check out our other videos on how to assert server responses or perform data-driven tests. Thank you for watching.